it's going to be it's a good day. Um, sorry for the shakiness. I'm like on a gravel road and it's a little bit potholy. So I am about half a mile from the Top Spur Trailhead. I'll be doing McNeil Point today. Uh, spending the night up there, probably close to where that stone shelter is. Haven't been up there, I've been in that area before a couple years ago when I, uh, well, when me and my girlfriend went to uh, Ramona Falls and the Muddy Fork River and all that. But anyway, haven't, uh, haven't been to McNeil Point. I'll probably even hit up uh, Cairn Basin and I think there's Eden Park around there. There's a couple of little loops, so I will be doing that. So I will see you guys at the trailhead. All right. So once again, looks like another busy weekend here up on Mount Hood Wilderness. Um, I think most people are taking the direct route to McNeil Point. I am gonna cut around Bald Mountain. Uh, there should be a fairly well maintained cutoff trail that'll take me back to the Timberline Trail. Uh, but we'll see. Hopefully I don't have to do too much bushwhacking. But like I said, we'll see. Yeah, look at that. Gorgeous. Some of the clouds would go away, but I guess you can't have everything. Well, that definitely makes it easier. I didn't think it was going to be signed. I thought I was going to have to find my way or look for trailblazes or cairns or something. But Looks pretty well maintained to me. Hopefully it's not like this all the way. <laughs> so I'm a little irritated with myself couple things I forgot uh, one of them being my camp shoes uh, it's just water shoes but all I have are my my boots I don't like wearing those around the camp I like to have my feet air out so I forgot that and then I forgot my uh, my separate camera my standalone camera and not my camera phone um, so that's a little irritating so yeah oh that was shorter than I thought it looks like we're linked back up to the timber timberline trail
to be caught in that rock slide. This pond is all dried up. Looks like my junction up ahead. I think I want to stay right. I passed a fork, I don't know, a little over a mile back. I think that one was going to be more of a scramble though. And with 40 pounds on my back, I'm not trying to, not trying to do that. This is not the fork. So that was the junction. I wanted to stay left. I got lucky and ran into a couple of other hikers. So they told me this trail here leads to McNeil Point, which is where I want to go. All right, so should be on the final leg up to McNeil Point in the shelter. Um, so I was wrong on the previous thing that I said with me needing to go left at the intersection. I was supposed to go right. Well, needless to say, got a little turned around. Uh, so I had some backtracking to do, but finally made it to the right, in the right direction. Um, it's a little bit more cloudy and cool cooler than I thought it was going to be is what it is um, yeah home stretch well made it you can see it behind me um, yeah this is not the best weather I was expecting a lot better but, like I said, it is what it is. Um, I'm half tempted to stay in the shelter, but uh, I don't want to leave my stuff in there. Because I do want to hike around some more, but I don't want to carry 40 pounds worth of stuff with me everywhere I go. Um, there was another camp spot. I might go and set some things down there. It's not too far from here. And uh, set things there. And then... If nobody else is spending the night here later, I might actually come in and sleep in the in the shelter. I don't know. I've never done it before, so it'd be pretty cool, I think. I don't know. Shut up. Let me back up a little bit. There it is. chilly. Too bad I didn't have firewood in here. Yeah, sorry guys. I was hoping for views, but this is what we got. Not the best. Could be worse. Yeah, right now I'm just gonna drop my stuff off at that previous campsite and do some day hiking from there. Go hit up Karen Basin. I think there's another shelter over there too. So, go check that out. Like I said, if later on I'm gonna check and see if 
there's still people running around the shelter and I might go ahead and set up in there. It's a little breezy, it's kind of chilly up here. So that might block the wind for me a lot easier.